Okay everyone, I just want to give you a quick update on what's going on. Uh, right now I'm working on the uh, new prototype for the Coastal Hydronomat. So this is going to be the uh, pumping tank, what I have right here in my hand. And uh, I have, a hole, have two holes drilled here in the bottom. So you have an intake and a, uh, you have an input here and you have an output. And this right here is for the air. And uh, I haven't put this one in yet because I need to get another fitting for it. And uh, right here is where it's gonna, the wire is going to come in through here. And I have another fitting here at the top. This is the wrong size, so I'm going to go to Lowe's and get another one. Uh, and basically what's going to happen is, is I'm going to have a wire go through here, go up through a tube, you know, this one right here, like that, through uh, this tank here. I'm going to cut this a little bit, but I just want to make sure I have enough room. And uh, basically what will happen is, is it's going to run up the tube here and fall over, just like the normal hydronomat. And... Uh, so that's what we got to have. That's the only real thing I have to work on now. So the pumping tank is pretty much done. Things have been sealed off. So that little spigot that you open up for a normal refrigerator bottle, that's been sealed off. This guy's been sealed off too, right here. I filled this entire thing with, uh, bolt, with the, um, what do you call it, caulk. As you can see, even right here on the edges. You can see that whole tap and everything is filled up with caulk to make sure that nothing leaks. And right here is our operating tank. Right here, so the bulkhead thing is going to go in here. I just need to uh, put a fitting on this other bulkhead fitting here. So you put a thing here on the top and we can thread it through and twist it on and it'll be all good. So that's what this is going to do right here. And we're going to submerge this uh, can this is brand new by the way this isn't been used at all whatsoever but we're going to submerge this uh, well, trash can or whatever it doesn't have any trash it's never had any trash in it I actually ordered this out of the box from amazon.com brand new so it's not polluting anything so anyway I have this this is going to be submerged halfway under the water at the beach or whatever and what's going to happen is that the water is going to be right here and as the waves go up and down it's going to compress the airspace in here on the inside of this tank. And that compression expansion is going to force the air out through the tube, out through this bulkhead thing here, which is going to go to a tube that will lead to uh, this tank here, right here through the top. And as this thing pushes down, I'll take the wire in here, I'll push the wire out through this outlet tube here into like a five gallon bucket or whatever. And when this thing is under partial vacuum, what it'll do is it'll pull the air and the water or whatever is in the uh, input tube up into the tank. And uh, we're going to have two check valves on here. So there's going to be a check valve on this one and there's going to be a check valve on here. So it'll be a check valve facing inward for the intake. It'll be one facing outward for the uh, out output. So, And this right here is not going to have a check valve on because it's going to have to go both ways. So I just want to give you a quick update on what we're going to do. Uh, I ordered some furniture, some PVC furniture fittings too for this uh, tank. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a sort of a uh, framework on the inside of this thing. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some PVC pipe going through this thing. So we'll just have a uh, structure inside of here, just like a little square structure with the uh, poles going down. And you have some cross braces at the top. And what will happen is, is we'll have those uh, pipes or whatever go probably a few, like a foot or so below this rim here and then uh, you know have another set of fittings that will shoot out some cross braces and connect all the different beams at the bottom about a foot below this uh, rim here and that way they can lay flat on the sand while this guy is left to hover about a foot above the uh, sand or whatever so you have an air gap of about you know eight inches to a foot or whatever and that way the water can actually get into this thing and uh, move up and down because of the gravity waves and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do with that and also the uh, cross pieces you know putting cross pieces about a foot below here is very good because you can uh, lash you can take a uh, rope not maybe not like this but you can take a rope chain or a chain or bungee cord something like that and wrap it around these handles here because this is a tough polypropylene container here uh, you can wrap this around, uh, you know, put something around the uh, handle here and connect it to the cross pieces at the bottom and anchor it down that way. 
and then you could take like an anchor or something like that, or anchor or two, and then uh, you know probably run a chain like you know right you know under here, go underneath the uh, trash can, connect it to the other one here, and have like a mushroom anchor or something sitting at the bottom of this, uh, hanging underneath the uh, cross pieces and stuff. So the anchor helps to keep this thing from getting carried off with the surf in case a major wave or um, riptide or something like that comes through. You have that mushroom anchor, anchor to uh, keep this thing. Focus was getting a little screwed up from the uh, plane surfacer. But they have the mushroom anchor to keep this thing anchored in place so it doesn't drift off or something like that. And then the, and then the uh, entire unit's going to be integrated so nothing will fall apart into different pieces and float down the uh, shore or anything like that. That won't happen because this thing's all going to be fixed into place. So I just want to give you guys a quick update on what in the world I'm doing. Uh, that's pretty much it for now. Just in the uh, process of doing that, I've also been doing some other things too. You know, I don't think I just like got absent-minded and went off and did my own something totally different. Uh, yeah, I've been busy with other things, but I also have this stuff in mind as well. I'm trying to figure out what I was doing with this. Oh, this is for the mini hydronomat. Never mind. But uh, that was just that was a backup right there. So anyway, I hope you uh, like the video. You know, stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna be testing this thing. You know, God willing. I'm uh, currently in the process of uh, asking the park and stuff if they'll uh, allow me to go and test this thing, and they don't seem to have a problem with it so far. Gonna get a call back from the uh, park manager, see what he's doing, and uh, yeah. So hopefully things will go very well. And that's a pretty good looking check valve right there. I might want to grab this guy and maybe this guy here. Use those, or maybe grab, or maybe buy another one of these large ones here. So anyway, thanks for watching.